listen, the fact is text blasting is changing and there are right ways and there are wrong ways to go about it. We break down exactly the right ways so that you can keep getting really good opportunities from text blasting, but you have to do it right. Check this out. You need to understand if you are sending out mass text, it is over. They're going to make you register. And even if you can register, if people are complaining that you're spamming or whatever else, they're going to close your whole company out by their EIN. They're going to track you. That's the whole traced act, right? That's the whole point is to bring more uh, transparency to who is sending these messages and what is their intention with these messages. And so we're not, we don't know. We don't know if you're going to be able to text 500 and be cool and that's fine. But what I would say now is best practice moving forward is start figuring out how you're going to generate leads outside of text blasting. If you're like that 10% of the, not even, not I mean, even it's 10%. like 1% of people are sending out mass, 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 mass text. At this point, the people that are doing it and doing it cleanly and doing it as, you know, a smaller company and just getting going in this, it seems to be that um, we're going to continue to be able to do that if it's specific until we hear your otherwise. Correct. Yeah. Um, so, so also like, like kind of going back to your point is like, so 1% of our user base in our platform is sending out 52% of our actual messages. Right. And we actually send like, and, and, and on our platform in general, we're sending over a million messages a day. Right. Uh, so we obviously we have a lot of like visibility into like kind of what's working, what's not. Yes. Um, and then at the moment, you know, things are working, people are generating leads. Um, and to, to your point, like, you know, people need to start thinking outside of the box of like, hey, I can't just like get out of a, um, a guru class and, uh, say, hey, like I was told to basically get this list of 50,000 people and then text blast them. Right. Uh, that's not going to work anymore. It's not going to work anymore, guys. Listen, I'm telling you, June 1st is when they're, they're pushing to it. They might extend it, but that's, that's kind of the, the soft deadline at this point. It's the soft deadline, Because yeah. I can imagine this takes a lot of manpower, a lot of technology to be able to track all these people, to be able to register all these people. I mean, this is a whole different staff of people that are going to be able to look through this. I'm sure they're building some technology to, to filter through it so that, you know, the millions of people that try to register yep. aren't, uh, you know, kind of clogging up their business, you know, the, for, for registering. But um, it's... It's exciting. It's it, it's exciting. It's I, exciting. I, I think the people like you know kinda, like you you mentioned earlier. I think like people that are able to kind of text and maybe it's a low volume user. Maybe it's somebody who actually like, passed through the whole registration process and their business actually makes sense to the actual carriers. They're going to be able to get generate more leads eventually yeah. because like you know if, if you think about it like if if the people that are actually like, spamming the whole industry mm -hmm. like some of those one percent of users uh, sending out because I've had people on our platform sending out sixty thousand messages per day like that's sixty thousand per day yeah that's that's not sustainable no. No matter how you look at it. Right. I don't even know how, like, how many, like, I mean, they go through the whole country in a matter of, like, weeks. Right. So. Yeah. Um, and people do. And people do that, yeah. <laughs> I and mean, that's the truth. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, so the people that are able to kind of get through, like, generate um, some of the, those highly targeted lists, be able to list stack, uh, you know, let's say through our platform or whatever, wherever else, they'll be able to actually talk to actual homeowners and be able to be one of the few that actually talk yeah. to those people. Well, and listen, it, it's seductive, even for my business. I mean, yep. I've got uh, I've got a solid million dollar plus business. We were yep. looking into sending out 20, 30, 50,000 texts a day. It was going to be, you know, wow, there's going to be so many leads. And we were kind of testing this out about 16, 18 months ago. And we were like, holy cow, first of all, you need to have a ton of data, yep. right? Which is fine. You can yep. get it, right? You, you need a ton of data. And second, we were getting so many fake tire kickers and looky-loos and everything that the whole business was like totally, uh, we weren't doing anything because we were spending so much time going after these leads of people texting us back very, you know, nonchalantly or very passively that they might consider an offer. Now we're trying to call them all the time and it was just a mess. So we tailed, brought it all the way down, got very, that's why we, yeah. honestly, that's why we switched uh, two batch leads was because you guys stack the list, you stack the list and then all of a sudden, boom, you know who the, the people that have multiple layers of distress, yeah. their pre foreclosure, tax default, their vacant properties, all of a sudden they have all three of those. We're, we're going after those and we're getting them. Yeah, and, and that, that's that's exactly it. You know, you get a list of fifty thousand people, you narrow it down, you, you you apply some different filters, and be able to like list stack it to identify multiple distress points and distress indicators. Yeah, and you bring it down to like 
500 people, for instance, and you focus on those 500 people. Awesome. And I know, you, and I know, I, I remember the time when you guys, like, kind of like your business switched to, mm -hmm. to that model. Yep. And it's been fantastic. Yeah. I mean, fantastic. I mean, you had your biggest month, yet. Oh, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. This, month, month. well, in April, yeah. yeah last biggest month, yeah. month, I'm telling you. And it was because we were very, very, very specific and very, very keyed in on the properties yeah. that we were going after. And it wasn't just this mass thing. And this goes back, guys, this, this goes back to just fundamentals that I talk about on this channel is, yeah, we want to grow this big, huge, giant business with all these people and we need to get enough leads for them and all this thing. Well, what happens when... The, th the leads, which is the engine of your business, shuts down because of something like this, right? How are you able to keep all that staff on, all that overhead on? You know, those businesses are two or three months away from some really, really, really drastic changes if you're building it from text blasting. So this is just letting everybody out there know this is what's coming and to act accordingly. If you like that video, hit that subscribe button. We come out with new videos every single day. And if you want your questions answered, like you and I, one-on-one, -on -one, make sure that you join us for the live show every single Wednesday. I will see you there.